I can't believe this is actually a thing. We've been hearing these rumors about a Flash movie in the DCEU ever since 2016. Calm down with all that noise. Y'all kids too fucking loud. Shut up. That was my feeling because it never really felt like it was going to be a real thing. But yet, here it is. They started filming today in London. Big news. That's a confirmation. nation. But, OG live action movie Batman. Tim Burton Batman. Michael Keaton is coming back officially into the role. It's been rumored. It's been speculated. But Lord have mercy. It's official. That's a big deal. How you foreign niggas stop it? I was born in the tropics. I'm the way people mosh pit. And they came with a starship. Yeah. yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, I'm really from the tropics. Fuck is you doing the next? What's good, Digital Trap Squad? Y'all know what it is, so check it right. Alright, y'all. So we know that the Flash movie coming out in a few years is gonna be tackling the Flashpoint storyline from the comic books and also Maybe a little dabble of the CW. Just, just a little dabble. You know, we we need just a little bit <laughs> of the Flashpoint storyline. And obviously, when you realize that Michael Keaton is officially coming back, you realize that Ben Affleck is going to have his last appearance as Batman in this film, you quickly realize that, oh, snap, it's a different type of Flashpoint story. Obviously, for a multitude of reasons, right? But the fact that he's coming back, Michael Keaton, to me, is a really big deal because that sets up the movie in a dynamic way where you could possibly have one Batman leave and another Batman come forward. Now, Michael Keaton originally was kind of iffy on coming back, right? I'm pretty sure he was like, Elephant in the room. I'm old now. <laughs> Fans online cast me as Bruce Wayne in Batman Beyond. <laughs> so I'm old now. Coming back to a role like Batman, ah, don't like it. But then he was also personally worried about the pandemic, right? Look, let's have some real talk. You can catch the Rona. And I could catch the Rona. Now, I'm young. <sighs> I'm in my prime. I would like to think I can't get the Rona, but I could. And I know Michael Keaton stepped out that house in an astronaut suit. <laughs> Rona, what? My man was dead ass serious. Like, bro, it's a pandemic going on. I ain't leaving this fucking house till it's over. Michael Keaton was living like Will Smith and I Am Legend. Looking outside the shutters like, shit, the fuck going on out there? Shit, fuck that. That was him. The fact that he came back and pushed all that to the side, nothing but love and appreciation. But you do have to wonder, with him being in this movie, is he going to potentially have de-aging technology that's going to make him a younger Batman? Think of Batman in his 40s, like Ben Affleck. So then maybe Ben Affleck as Batman lays down the sacrifice in some type of scenario, saves Barry. Maybe he has a flashback to when the Joker killed, when he killed Robin. I don't know, one of them Robins in BVS. And then he's like, no, I'm not going to have, you know, a somewhat younger hero die again and he laid down the sacrifice play then through multiverse travel and all that good flashpoint shit michael keaton ends up as batman in the dceu in some type of twisted raggedy way right time travel what i i see this as an absolute win you would think that's probably what's going to happen, most likely, because I don't see the DCEU moving forward without a Batman of some sorts. 
and Michael Keaton coming back, the aging technology, that all makes sense. Officially filming in London, they also released a new logo, which looks fantastic. I love the logo. It's bright, it's vibrant. It's like that flash symbol that gives you that sense of courage and hope. And I love the brightness of it. Obviously, it's been changed a little bit over the years. The movie was rumored to be in production back in like 2016. So it's gone through some transformations, but I'm loving the flash symbol. That'll probably be the one that's on Barry's chest, which is definitely an upgrade from the current one <laughs> that sometimes you kind of don't see. But anyway, it's been weird, but it's been real. Yo, OG Batman. So don't worry, y'all. We're going to review the first two Batman movies. You know, Batman and Batman Returns. We're going we're gonna to review them before Flashpoint so that we can get a feel completely for what Keaton did as Jack Frost. <laughs> as Batman, okay? As Batman. All right, get out of here, bitch. <laughs>